How's that for live audio post? It's four o'clock on a Friday, and you know what that means, don't you? It's time for another exciting episode of Taxi's Quarantini Happy Hour. Woo! This week, starring all of you guys in the chat room and your music. Woo! Here, let's do a fade. <laughs> there we go. A fade. <laughs> oh man, I'm loopy. Hello everybody. Hello Jesse J. Peck, Dan Weber, Ian Shortle. Are we running? I think we're running. Yeah, we are, right? <laughs> Martin Gravel, Dan Weber, Jan Pearson, uh, Jesse J. Peck. I don't remember who I even talked to a minute ago. Hello, Darren Moss, Nancy Collell, Edmund Red. Uh, Marion Laird, Darren Fletcher, Riffs the Rule, Il Rosso Emil, Alex Dillon, Andre Stepanian, Alan Hall, found it, not that hard, <laughs> Robert Orzachowski, hello cabbies, Pierre Venio, good morning from Hong Kong, woo, Daryl Berman, Peter Rahill, Jan Weilich, Cass McKenty, Michael Reschke, um, and Yuka, Ken Bearden, Giovanni Lanza, Renny Bear, uh, Nancy, or uh, Joseph Alonzo, Pete Mason, Aaron Northern. Everybody's pretty on time today, eh? <laughs> Rick Cabot Podmore, Paul Etheridge. Wow, our list of regulars is growing. Ain't that cool? Robert Martin, Spiritual, Jay Williams. So, want to hear something funny? Uh, yesterday, when I played the uh, kind of swanky, late-night, smooth jazz thing at the beginning of the show that came preloaded into my uh, roadcaster, I got a copyright ding. <laughs> I mean, I just can't monetize the episode because that was in there. Isn't that funny? <coughs> the line runs out the door and around the block. Yes, it does. Um... Hello, Darren Moss. Did I already say hello to you? <laughs> I don't remember. Anyway, uh, all right. Well, today, as promised, we are going to listen to some music from you dudes and dudettes. Um, let's see. Okay, that looks like everybody has shown up. So Liz sent me the playlist early today. Um, I'm going to just play them in the order they came in. Um, I want to... What do we do for rules? Are there rules on this? I, we mentioned yesterday, but I want to re-mention it today, just in case anybody's here today that wasn't uh, watching the show yesterday. Um, be nice. We're, we're not really here to critique so much as expose everybody's musical styles to the rest of you to see if there are any collaboration possibilities. So yeah, be kind. Um, if you're going to offer up a suggestion, be constructive and helpful. Like, you know, like mentioned yesterday, wow, I love the vocal on that, but the drums don't really feel like they're in a pocket. We're here to support. That's right. This is like the AA for songwriters. <laughs> Um, no crying in baseball. That's right. Tom Hanks, greatest line ever. Uh, hello, Ronald Schultz. So, yeah, there you go. So, you guys ready to, you know what? I'm going to make it just a pinch cooler. I'm going to be very comfortable for this. Okay. A, A, absolutely amazing. Yep. There you go. So I've got my other earbud off so I can hear myself. Um, hopefully it won't generate any sort of little feedbacky loop or anything with the microphone. I think we're good. Uh, virtual screener number 11. Was that John Brahaney? I think that was back in the day. Anyway, you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. 
Um, all right, and first on the list is Mr. Andre Stepanian. Oh, and remember, we're going to do like 90 seconds or so, um, so we can try and get as many. Oh, that's right, John Brahaney was number 12. I don't remember who number 11 was. Um, Okay, first up to bat, this is Andre Stepanian's Morning Mist. Please work. Let me know how the levels are. I'd like to be the first to point out how appropriately titled that was, Morning Mist. Can't you uh, absolutely see that in a scene where a couple people uh, walking on the beach early in the morning with the you know fog layers still out there and everything? Really, really nice job, Andre. I'm surprised your fingers are so good after tying fishing knots all these years. <laughs> How many hooks have you had to rip from your fingers over the years? Ooh, hot air balloon over Hawaii. There you go. All right. The crowd seems to love it. Awesome. Just made a YouTube video. It's footage of the beach. Well, there you go. Hope there's some fish laying there and flopping around in the sand. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Shall we fire up another one? No fish. <laughs> Let's see. What is next on the list? Next on the list is Darren Moss's song, or instrumental, I'm not sure, Winning the War. Let's have a listen. Never 
Darren Moss, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ken Beard says, okay, I quit. <laughs> ah, don't be a wuss. You'll get there. Every, you know, nobody comes out of their mommy's tummy talented. <laughs> They're a blank slate. Uh, really, really, really nice tune. Uh, reminds me of, uh, oh gosh, uh, what's his name? Uh, although not a ripoff, not a clone. Um, uh, why can't I think of his name? Because I'm old. Uh, uh, Tal Bachman. Sounds like, uh, you know, if you were building a playlist of stuff, Tal Bachman and this could be on the same playlist, I would say. Ooh, my computer just did that glitchy screen thing again. Scary. Um, three chords in the truth, says Alan Hall. There you go. Really, really, really nice job. Oh, that's right. Mark Real is reminding us, please, everybody, go hit the like button on this. If everybody would be so kind as to hit the like button so that this will show up more often in the sidebar and YouTube and other people will hear the music. Cool. Darren loves Tal Bachman. Yay. I think I told you guys the story, right? When I went, uh, I was in Vancouver giving a speech and Randy Bachman showed up to support me. Uh, he came all the way from Salt Spring Island in Vancouver, which is either a plane ride or a very long boat ride uh, to the hotel I was speaking at in Vancouver and stood up there and did a little testimony for taxi, which I was very appreciative. Uh, invited me out to the house the next day. I flew out there. He picked me up at the dock when I came in on the little uh, single engine seaplane and took me to his house up to his studio which was on his property and said hey do you mind taking a real quick crack at mixing the song and it was the tal bachman single that nobody was interested in yet yep his dad was in bto and the guess who Yep, uh, that was probably back around 2000, 2005, somewhere in that window. Um, Cass, you're absolutely right. Taxi members' music just keeps getting better and better. Uh, we hear that all the time from panelists at the Road Rally. Um, so many people, big people in the industry, come up to me and go, Hey, by the way, man, I meant to tell you. Every year I come back to the rally, the music just seems to be getting better. And that's because people are sticking with it longer. They're learning more. They're collaborating more. They're developing their skills more. Absolutely. Andre, I swear, someday. First, I've got to go to Cleveland to go to uh, Scott Hansen's restaurant. Once COVID is over, I'm going to go out there and have pizza, uh, at his restaurant and do a taxi TV with him. And then uh, how about if I come up to Vancouver and you and I do a taxi TV together and uh, we go fishing. How's that? All right, uh, next up, let's see what we got here. All right, this one is called Toe Jam. I love it. Um, and this is from Spiritual, a.k.a. Brian Freeman. Let's have a listen. You got some toe jam, you got some toe jam, wham, bam, spam, quack, quack. You got some toe jam, you got some toe jam, wham, bam, spam, quack, quack. You got some toe jam, you got some toe jam, wham, bam, spam, quack, quack. Look at these goofy suckers, quacking like Donald Duck. You better shut up before you get put in that dump truck. We done had enough of you and your foolish ways. Time to make things like they were back in the days. Y'all done got in the future and got beside yourself. Bring you back to reality, you ain't better than nobody else. So get in that time out. Toe jam, wham, bam, spam, quack, quack. You got some toe jam, you got some toe 
Awesome job, Spiritual. I've got to say, that would make a great jingle for a podiatrist. <laughs> uh, I love it. Let's see what you guys are saying. <laughs> Go watch your feet. Question, where this song could be used? Um, uh, it could definitely be used in TV and film. Um, uh, maybe, you know what, honestly, it would be hysterically funny. I don't know if an ad agency would see it being as funny as I do, but for those commercials, uh, that get rid of like uh, toe fungus, <laughs> fungus on your toenails, <laughs> perfect, right? Yeah, reality TV would eat this up. <laughs> Nancy Colosa grew on me fast. <laughs> Bikini clad girls car wash ad. Peter Rahill, I would love to send you to a psychiatrist for that. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Uh, slow movie walk. Oh, okay. There you go. Uh, slow movie walk in a comedy movie. Yeah. Yep. Oh, man. I've got a... Spiritual, are you a current taxi member? Awesome. Um, are you under uh, spiritual or under your name? Under spiritual, okay. I'm going to make sure that the kids in the A&R department who know more about uh, music with beats than this old dude does, that they hear that um, just so they know it exists. Uh, they probably, um, um, have you submitted it and has it been forwarded before? I'm going to be singing that one tonight at dinner. Just submitted it three days ago. Awesome. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, this one is called Painful Recollection. Oh, whoops. Hang on a second. I'm getting something on my phone here that I don't want to have happening during the big show.
Oh, that's Liz letting me know. Okay. Um, I'm going to mute you, Liz, so that I don't get it showing up. Because uh, my phone's plugged into the system. Okay. All right, back to the action. This one's called Painful Recollection by Pete Mason. And up goes the fader. Oh. That's not the one I wanted. There we go. Pete Mason. That was depressing <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> nice work, Pete. Um, yeah, totally. Again, really appropriate and good title. If I were an editor looking for somebody mentioned like a post funeral piece and I saw a painful recollection, um, that would, I, I would go right to that and play it, and that would be awesome. Let's see. Uh, A lot of plus ones, well done. <laughs> Andre loves depressing music, it's his favorite. That scares me a little. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, about a year and a half, two years ago, we had an indie film that came in uh, that needed a lot of different, there were like four different scenes. Uh, the movie actually opened with a young man standing over his father's grave, I think right after the casket had been lowered in. And a taxi member got the opening song in that. Um, and there was other stuff like back at the house with the family and the kid didn't want to be there with the family thinking all that kind of stuff. This would have been perfect for that. All right. This is fun. All right, let's see. What do we have next? We have... Cass McKinty doing, whoops, that was a little early. Um, this is Cass McKinty doing Nobody Else Like Don't You. Why? 
sorry. I'm taking it back. Sorry, kids. Yeah, baby. It's amazing that such a feminine, high-pitched voice comes out of that tall, lanky, masculine frame of yours, Cass. <laughs> That's a really pretty song. I think it's pretty darn syncable. <laughs> you hike up your shorts. <laughs> I don't want to be around for that. That's for sure. And the audience loves it. We're getting, that was great. Uh, plus one, LOL. <laughs> great song, Cass. Um, yeah, I hear it in a, uh, Jez Falanza says I hear it in a drama TV show. Uh, sets the perfect vibe and stays there. Yeah, it, it's... It's light, it's airy, it's ex uh, accessible, authentic, all that good stuff. And they said Cass Elliot passed on. Cass Elliot passed on it? How did you play it for? <laughs> oh, man. That's right, you should call your production company, your publishing company, should be like Goat Boy Music or something. Yeah, who, who was the vocalist on it? Yeah, you know, it's it's um, kind of got the vibe and sensibility um, of uh, Subaru commercials. Even the crows like it. They started showing up just for that song. All right, I've got to get my button gear because we've got more to listen to here and I don't want to run out of time. Um, next up, we have Mr. Dan Weber and his song called Drink Up. Oh. 
All right, that was Drink Up by Dan Weber, something which I'm sure many members in the audience are very good at. Uh, some plus one, some may, I'm thirsty. Uh, yeah, El Rosso, I hear it a little bit too. Honestly, I have no idea what causes that. It actually sounds good. It's going from the roadcaster into uh, Wirecast, out of Wirecast, you know, through the laptop into my headphones. I'm hearing what you're hearing, and I can hear that it sounds a little bit comb filtery. I have no idea. Other than the roadcaster has something built in that stops a feedback loop happening and I'm suspecting that's it. But I made sure that I didn't have um, any sort of filters or anything on the music. Uh, I've got the music setting on, on the on that particular fader versus the voice setting because it's the phone, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. I'm playing it off my phone, but that shouldn't be the issue. So I don't know, but it's better than playing it out of a speaker into a microphone, right? Um, all right, good job, very catchy. Moving on. And next up we have John Pearson. This one is called Ben Boyton. been written by John Pearson. Excuse me. That was a Red Bull burp. <laughs> Alan Hall says, is there such a thing as too good for sync? I don't think so. Lots of nice compliments. Plus one, great song. 
Excellent form. Very nice. Yeah, I'm curious too. Are those um, logic drums, I'm guessing? Only because you love them? Woo. Oh, easy drummer drums. Wow. Why'd you use easy drummer drums? You love the logic drums. Just got signed. Yay. Well, this show's not going to make me $2.40. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of this stuff is either getting signed or will be signed and it will be demonetized any moment. <clears throat> Logic didn't work with all the breaks. Interesting. All right. Uh, <laughs> Darren Mosca sent me two bucks and 40 cents. Is that uh, Australian dollars or USD? <laughs> all right. Next up, we have Memories by Giovanni Lanza. All right, great job on that. That was Giovanni Lanza doing memories. Is Giovanni in the house today? Nancy, who is it said, uh, Joseph Lanza takes real talent to do this. I just write poppy songs. That takes talent. There's Giovanni. How are you, buddy? Great job. Okay, everybody with the plus ones. Mary and Laird chime in with Bellissima. Okay, moving on to the next one. Whoops. 
All right, this one is called The Departed. Shit, let me take it back. By Edmund Red. I had to let that one go all the way to the end because I could see the waveform had something interesting going on in the end. What do they call that? Um, when it, it's almost like it ends and then it re-ends again. Um, there's a, a coda? Is that a coda? false ending it's something that's become um, very popular uh, South Dakota <laughs> uh, a second climax well isn't that a lucky trailer <laughs> sorry uh, <laughs> Yeah, a lot of a lot of trailer composers are employing that now, and a lot of trailers are employing that. You think you've gotten to an ending, not just musically, but visually on the screen, and then boom, it comes back. Sometimes they use it for, um, like, uh, they'll bring up a credit screen. So, like, the trailer ends with, like, some big cliffhanger, and then the music comes back and does the second ending to, say, you know, a film by blah, blah, blah. The credit screen, right. It's like when I see a squirrel and then I see another squirrel. Yeah, there you go. No squirrels or rabbits today. No gopher sightings in days. Okay, let me go back to the top. Next up to bat. Damn. Pause. Very big pain in the butt here. Um, 
Oh, next up is Sunshine Guitar and Vocal Demo by Ian Shortall. Shortall. You got burnt one time and it's not a crime It'll turn out fine, it's not just a line We gotta get you out, dancing child Shout out loud, sway with the crowd It's alright, it's alright It's alright, it's alright Take a chance, ask her to dance, yeah it's time for that, but on the other hand Take a minute, you don't have to give it This is time for living, or just take a chance It's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright Why is my heart beating so fast? See, chance is fading, but the magic is waiting Heavy on me But here comes the sunshine And you hold mine I couldn't fake it There's no mistaking But here comes the sunshine And you hold mine I couldn't shake it My million dollar hit remember when all that time spent thinking what it meant look what heaven sent now I hold you every day and maybe you remain holding my heart and my brain it's what we say it's alright it's alright it's alright, it's alright, yeah Why is my heart beating so fast? See, chance is fading But the magic is weighing heavy on me But here comes the sunshine All right, that was Sunshine Guitar and Vocal Demo by Ian Shortle. Great job. Love the vocals on that. Great voice. Let's see. I can go like five or ten minutes long today. We've actually got people coming over for dinner tonight. And I've got to go shave because the husband is a superior court judge, so I want to clean up my act so I don't, like, go to jail or something. Looking like, I look like a criminal. Um, where is he in? He's here somewhere, right? <laughs> Put the Superior Court judge on, he can judge the music. <laughs> All right, uh, next up we have Trey Orchidez by Pierre Venio. That wasn't Ian singing. Well, whoever sang it was very appropriate for the song and a really nice voice. Uh, here we go with Trey's Orchidez by Pierre Benio.
Amanda West's booty is shaking. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to leave that alone. And whoever said makes you want to dance to your wife, it makes me want to dance with your wife, too. <laughs> anyway, awesome job. Uh, great job on that. <laughs> Darren Moss, is this Cuban flavored? Once again, sorry, I'm a dumb rock guy from Australia. Love it, though. <laughs> yeah, very good for travel travel shows, easily. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Gato Blanco, the guy who's now so famous that I haven't been able to get him on the show. Uh, there are the crows. It's so funny how they show up same time of day. Maybe it's because the bugs come out. Um, all right, let's do one more. I'm looking at the list, and I've got, um, let's see, one, one, two, three, four, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to listen to one more today. We're going to listen to one more today. And remember, I'm not going to be in the office Monday at Taxi TV time, so there's no episode on Monday. But when we come back Tuesday for another delightful episode of Taxi's Quarantini Happy Hour. <laughs> We'll finish listening to the rest of the stuff on the list. How's that sound? Or we could do the next... Uh, do you guys prefer you want to do them next Friday or would you prefer to do them Tuesday? Well, we can't do more submissions because then we'll have more stuff carrying over. Uh, we got to work with this list for now. We'll do this again. All right, Tuesday seems to be... Yeah, I don't know. You know, honestly, Fridays are a little tough. Uh, reason being that we've got to do all the listings that run Saturday, Sunday, and Monday and a couple of uh, dispatches in there. So Fridays can be, be very busy for yours truly. Uh, luckily today, the listings, excuse me, were in really good shape when I got them so I didn't have to work that long or that hard on them. All right, let's make it on Tuesday just so we can continue the vibe. All right, so one more for today. Um, and I am going in order. Who was the last one Il Rosso? Yeah. Um, so the next one, going back to the top on that. Damn. Cooperate. All right. Uh, oh, we haven't heard. Okay, so I accidentally skipped one because I fat fingered it. All right, so this one is called Drumboat, and it's by Il Rosso Emil.
That was the end. Woo! I was so busy reading, looking at the thing, that I blew it. So weird. Two of them are selected. Anyway, great job on that. Um... Uh, Did any Christmas covers end up on your list? I don't know. I haven't listened to them. Urasa says, to be honest, it was lacking good drumline samples. All right, well, with that, I've got a boogie um, because we have company coming over and I need to clean up and straighten up my office here. My wife is like, these people are going to come over and see this mess. But they're good friends. They're close friends, so hopefully they will be forgiving. But great job, you guys. Um, quite amazing how much talent there is uh, among Taxi's members. Um, It was a great show. It was fun hanging out with you guys. Really enjoyed listening to your music, and we will be back. Remember, no regular Taxi TV on Monday, um, but we will be back for another quarantine happy hour on Tuesday at 4 o'clock. Give us a like. Uh, subscribe if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to our channel. Um, Anything else? Have I done it all? Said it all? Uh, that's it. Have a great weekend, as you guys are all saying in the chat room. Be safe. Stay healthy. Watch out for crows and gophers. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye.